quarterback, everyone. And now the great American Battle Royal is about ready to start us. Here comes the first competitor, JBL. And of course, in the pre-show All-American Wrestling, we saw JBL seemingly had a plan to take out one of the competitors in this great American Battle Royal, GL. He had, I guess, the help of Dark Leader and... Um, Monty the Anti Beast to try and take out GL, but I've heard GL is in the, was in the back seeing the trainer, so I'm not quite sure if GL's going to be in this matchup. But <clears throat> knowing GL's history, when people have attacked him, he has come out sometimes stronger and better than ever. And I think JBL might have to learn that the hard way here tonight as he tried to set up a, a trap for GL. GL was talking about how he plans to make history tonight and all these other things, but then he was attacked by uh, Dark Leader and Monty and JBL. So JBL is trying to ensure himself a victory in the Great American Battle Royal, and of course JBL has been known for uh, trying to speak up and claiming to be an All-American and everything, as here comes the world's strongest man, and Mark Henry, he had been a competitor in weightlifting in the past for, uh, he was, I believe, in the 1996 Olympics. He didn't, I think something happened, though, where he wasn't lifting in the competition, but he at least tried to be an Olympian. He uh, was a weightlifter, and I guess that's kind of, some of the media is probably kind of the reason why he's in the business, but <clears throat> I think to, tonight, this All-American Battle Royal, I mean, it, it probably means a lot to him. Could you imagine walking out with two title belts that you can hold on to and not have to defend? Because the great American title belts, no, the person that wins them does not have to defend them because it's a belt that only comes around. Now it's Scars and Stripes. That is apparently been officially signed as a Scars and Stripes type event. It's like a trophy. It's like winning the Super Bowl. You get the trophy, you get to celebrate, you get to be called a champion. <clears throat> so this is a little bit different though, as this is a not a recognized Valley Dung Championship, but it's almost like having a trophy that you get to show up. Because I think a lot of people will remember the winners of these great American battle royals and <clears throat> We already have two competitors, and I'm a little bit surprised by JBL's uh, actions. Why would he not try to take out Mark Henry as well if he was going to try to take somebody else out? But uh, nonetheless, I mean, I guess it is what it is. And uh, we're having another competitor, I think, coming down to the ring. Oh, and it's GL. So GL is going to be in this matchup. I guess that attack by JBL did not work. But you gotta wonder how GL will fare now that he, as he is probably less than 100% after the attack. But nonetheless, GL is gonna show everybody that he was not gonna be taken out by a sneak attack. Uh, he's gonna come out here and compete. And I gotta give GL a ton of credit for coming out here tonight and competing despite the uh, attack and possibly being less than 100%. But GL, that's just the kind of competitor that he is. GL, a fine competitor, a great competitor, and he said he will not be denied tonight, and he's gonna show everybody why he is considered a legend in the business. And given his track record, how can you argue with GL? I mean, former interim champion, former YouTube world champion, and he's had many, many matches in his career. So you can't say that GL has not already made himself a legend in the business, but he wants to show everybody a little bit more here tonight. And could you imagine if GL were to overcome the attack earlier on All-American Wrestling to win? And we thank all of you for joining us at Scars and Stripes 3. And what a way to kick off the event. I mean, with the Great American Battle Royal, I believe it is six competitors. And also, uh, I mean, the winner getting those two title belts, what a celebration it would be for whoever wins this. Now, for those that might be thinking, oh, the Mad Professor should enter this. Well, the Mad Professor is not in this, but the Mad Professor is going for gold tonight. He 
and Rage, of course, teaming up to go for the Valley Dung Tag Team Championships, which is a huge, huge deal. I mean, these these two guys are possibly going, they're going to meet each other at Summerfest 4, barring any unforeseen circumstances. And here comes Max Frost. He's wearing that replica championship as uh, earlier in the night he was, he felt that he was robbed of the uh, world title in a battle royal on All-American Wrestling. So he said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to wear a replica title. He probably bought that from a from a website or something, but that is not the world title that he had earlier as he had lost that title belt. But nonetheless, Max Frost ready here tonight. And the Hate City Rockers, they've got a few matches here tonight from what I'm seeing on the card. But I believe they are all in this battle royal, so... This is a big opportunity for Max Frost and the Hate City Rockers to possibly bring some gold into their uh, group. And Max Frost really probably cannot be in a good mood. I mean, he's not been in a good mood since losing the YouTube World Championship, which he still believes he was robbed of. But <clears throat> I guess it is what it is. He's not pleased about coming up short in Royal Madness 3. And definitely, who would be? But the Hate City Rockers are going to still strive forward as here comes the Muffin Man wearing that Platinum Brawling Championship, which he defeated GL for that title. So GL might get a little bit of a chance at some retribution here as Muffin Man getting a lot of support from the fans here as he makes his way to the ringside area. So Max Frost, if he and the Hate City Rockers can work together, they might be able to do big things in this matchup. I mean, because he's got his group together in this matchup, so I guess you can work together until it comes down to just your group. Or I guess that, that might be the best strategy that I would say for a matchup like this, but we'll have to, that all remains to be seen if they'll go that route, or maybe they'll just fight with each other and hope for the best. As here comes Big... Ben, the U.S. UK champion, which that belt's kind of taking on a more European uh, look to it. And of course, Max Frost entered, he made the belt the U.S. title. Originally, it was the UK championship, but then when Max Frost won it, he wanted to call it the United States championship. Later on, the board of directors had a meeting where they decided. Let's call it the U US UK Championship, UK US. Either way, it's the same title belt. But it's got that nice uh, gold uh, pl uh, gold plate around it. And Big Ben, he actually won that title in a champion versus champion contest. And Big Ben, as some people might recall, was once at one time internet champion and US UK champion. Unfortunately for Big Ben, he lost that championship, that internet championship to Kia, and has since uh, been competing in the US-UK division. So tonight he's got a chance, though, to win more gold, to add more gold to his resume, as he will be competing in this All-American Battle Royal. And there we see a, uh, a version of the Great American Championship. There are two belts, though, on the line. So we'll have to see what happens in this matchup as the Monkeys and the Truck are getting things started. Come on, Monkeys. And now, oh, JB, JBL taking down Mark Henry as it looks like Big Ben is trying to eliminate uh, Max Frost in the early going. GL going right at Muffin Man. I'm wondering if GL might have some animosity still towards Muffin Man. Possibly for an out. Looks like JBL is trying to get rid of uh, Mark Henry and Max Frost eliminated. Mark Henry gets eliminated. Big Ben eliminates Max Frost. And now it looks like uh, Mark Henry and Max Frost will have to make their way to the back. As now looks like JBL's oh, power bomb there on Muffin Man. And now sending Muffin Man into the ropes. And JBL is setting him up. And uh oh, this could be oh, punt right to the head. Muffin Man eliminated, so now it is down to JBL, GL, Big Ben, and this All-American, and 
There, I think, oh, there goes Big Ben up and over, and now it is GL and JBL coming down to the final two in this matchup as GL is <coughs> setting up JBL for a huge, oh, receipt there. JBL getting a little bit of payback here from GL from what happened earlier, and now GL is trying to get JBL out of this matchup. Pushing and prodding and pulling, trying to get JBL over. And oh, that sucker punch there. JBL has been eliminated. JBL is livid. He can't believe it. JBL did all that work <clears throat> to try and take out GL, trying to make sure he would win this matchup. And in the end, JBL eliminated by the guy he had tried to take out, GL. So GL wins. The Great American Battle Royal, and he's holding up both of those title belts high. And congratulations to GL on an epic, epic victory here tonight. As JBL still can't believe the result, but nonetheless, GL wins the Great American Battle Royal. And I think it is well deserved. GL basically is proving to everybody when he says he's going to do something. He said tonight people would remember him and that he would show that he is a legend and I think he has proven that here tonight.